Hello, I'm Paul of Simmons Research. Today, eight virtual team building activities. Let's get straight into it by talking about the ones we're going to show. Virtual show and tell, one word story, where I live, virtual scavenger hunt, active listener challenge, guess that song, dumbest idea first, and themed picture sharing. Let's get straight into the activities. So the first one is going to be virtual show and tell. We're going to allow three minutes per person and every person is going to show one item that they love that has meaning to them. It could be their favorite mug. It could be a souvenir from a recent holiday or vacation. It could be a memento from something else or something that family member has given them, whatever they choose. So I'm going to talk about the meaning behind it. And, and then after three minutes, you can have two minutes of questions where people can ask them for a little bit more information or just show interest in the item. Let's get to activity number two. One word story. So the first person is going to say one word. So it could be help. And then the next person, so the next person on screen is going to say a second word to start adding to the sentence. So, so it could be me, help me. And you're going to go around the group as quickly as possible and everybody's going to add a word. So if you give five minutes for this activity, you're going to see how many times can they go around the group and keep on building the sentence, keep on building the story, the narrative. You may want to allow three minutes or five minutes. Once again, if it's a large group, put people into like say eight to ten people is good. So it's a very, very simple activity. One word, story. Activity number three, where I live. Again, really easy. You're going to allow three to five minutes for each person. Um, that will include questions afterwards. So they're going to talk about the place where they are located at this time. They can choose what to talk about. So they could talk about why it's famous, um, the history of the place, why they chose to live there or why they like living there. It's really up to the person. So this is amazing if you've got hybrid teams. So you may have people working in many, many different countries. And this really gives you a chance or gives the participants a chance to really get to know their colleagues better, to have better understanding of their colleagues. And this picture in particular is myself and Valeria, the two co-founders of Simmons Research. And that's the Etna. Valeria is Sicilian. So I very often work from Sicily. So if the meeting was taking place, that would be the photograph I would be showing and I'll be talking about the Etna. So just to give an example. Activity number four, virtual scavenger hunt. Very similar to the activity that you would run in for in-person classes, except of course, this is the virtual version. So I would allow 15 minutes and you're going to have a list of items that you as the training coordinator would have created beforehand. And they have to find as many of those items as they can in their own homes. So you could say, find something blue, and it could be a blue mug, a blue cap, something you made yourself, something that smells good. So that could be flowers, for example, or coffee beans or, or something. You can have people work individually or you can have them work in teams. If you have them work in teams, maybe have four or five people in each team. And between them, they have to, to, they have to decide which items to find. So they'll be working in breakout rooms and they will have to work together to coordinate which items each to find. At the end of the activity, the 15 minutes, bring everybody back together and then everybody can show a couple of the items that they chose, that they found, and ask them how many items did they find off the list and then you will come up with a winner for the scavenger hunt, which is run virtually. And number five, the active listener challenge. So what I would suggest is to allow three to five minutes and that's you as the training coordinator, you're going to tell a story. And the participants, they are not allowed to take any notes. They have to just listen. The story you choose, try and make it include a lot of facts because you're going to ask 10 to 15 questions after the three minutes or five minutes. And the participants are going to write down the answers to all of the questions that you ask. So this will really test were they able to actively listen? And of course, this activity works so well for large groups, for big groups. So it's very, very easy to run. Activity number six, guess that song. You're going to compile a bunch of music clips, which are five seconds long. I would suggest having maybe 15 songs, 15 clips, and participants must guess the song title. 
I would play all of the songs once and then do it a second time, even give them a third time just to try and get the titles. They will write the, the songs down and at the end you can tell them the correct titles. Alternatively, you could play one song and play it a second time and the person who, who correctly guesses the song by sending the name of the song through the chat facility, they get a point. So you could do it that way as well. Activity number seven, dumbest idea first. I love this activity, a lot of fun. This goes against convention of coming up with ideas um, and how we use creativity, but this is about coming up with the 10 craziest, dumbest ideas as a team. So you're gonna give them a scenario such as your department needs to create a new product that's never been designed before. Instead of coming up with 10 good ideas, they have to come up with the 10 craziest ideas. So um, it could be something like oven ready ice cream. It could be anything, but they want the 10 craziest ideas. So put them together in groups if you need to, and each group will come up with 10 crazy ideas. Then at the end of the activity, maybe after 15 minutes, bring them all together back into the virtual meeting room and then ask each team for three of their craziest ideas. And then together at the end, as a, as, as a full class, they have to vote for the craziest of all ideas, for the number one craziest ideas. This is great for creative thinking and thinking outside of the box. So it is actually a very, very, very good activity. One of my favorites too. Themed picture sharing is the final activity that I'm gonna talk about now. There are actually 21 activities in, in the blog post that I did on virtual team building activities, but I'm just gonna show you eight now. Themed picture sharing is a very simple concept, a little bit like uh, a couple of the activities we've already done, but participants are gonna choose one, one picture, one photograph. So if you know the participants, like because you're teaching employees, ask them beforehand, explain to them that they're gonna to need to have one photograph prepared for this activity. And it should be something that has some kind of meaning to them. So this picture of Blair and I were living in South Korea, in Seoul, where they're with friends. I was teaching English, Blair was teaching Italian. And I would probably talk about the food, the amazing, amazing food and I have in Korea, the, the food is fantastic. So do go to Korea if you do get the chance. And I would be talking about this picture. So I have every participant talk about a picture for three minutes if they can. And then participant, the other participants can spend two minutes to ask them questions about their experience, about the photograph or things connected to the photograph. So that's a very simple activity. If you have, as I keep saying, if you have a lot of participants, just use breakout rooms. So in the next video, well, first of all, I'm so grateful that you watched. Thank you so much. The next video is on managing hybrid teams. Hybrid teams are a mix of in-person and remote employees, and there are challenges for managers in running these types of teams. The next activities video is going to be to do with six time management activities. That video will be live within the next seven days. You can get subscribed and you will be notified of the videos. Once again, thank you so much. See you soon.